Hello everyone and welcome to this new video, I'm Ombra and today we're gonna start the new series of video about the commander in the 2.5 version, the first guide gonna talk about Sauron. First and start with the guide, I wanna talk about one site called rise to War guidecom a site that I create for the community and where I intend to publish all my guide and all my tools about the game. The site is already live with the build of Sauron, so if you're interested on that, you can go and check it out. The link is in the description of the video and as always also on my Discord. Talking about Sauron, for sure the main role of this commander is support. Can be a tank, but the main role is support. This ability don't provide any damage reduction on particular tanking skill to the commander but more CC on the enemy and the buff. Sauron doesn't require a big investment on that, you can run that at respect 5, of course if you invest more you're gonna have a more efficiency commander but you can use them as free to play very very easily. Talking about the skill at respect 4 you're gonna start with 10 points on the enemy, the most important skill for Sauron. That skill gonna reduce the attack, the defense and the focus of the enemy by 15% and you want absolutely max this skill for it 4 enemy instead of 3 so you don't have RNG on the target and in addition your Sauron gonna be immune to the stun. This skill also gonna increase the efficiency with the focus of Sauron and can reach 25% at the maximum focus possible. Then you want to place 10 point on the deceiver a skill that increases the damage received by 3 enemy formation. Also this skill scale with the focus so can be more can be 20% and in addition at level 5 of that skill you're gonna have 30% chance to set on madness on the round 1 all the enemy hitted by that debuff. After that you want to place 1 point on Gore Tower and 1 point on Lord of the Gift in this order is really important follow this order for the maximum synergize and your bid is almost done at this point cause you already have all the debuff and all the CC. The last two points you're gonna place on Gore Tower not cause you need the more damage of Gore Tower cause Sauron don't do any damage but cause in the future you want to invest on that skill. If you choose to reach the respect 10 on Sauron you're gonna have the point for reach the level 9 on Gore Tower so you're gonna place all the point on Gore Tower. You want to unlock the trait Keen Eye on that skill that allow you to ignore the evasion of the enemy commanders. That's really strong versus Gilgalad for example. Unfortunately you don't gonna have the point for reach the maximum on Gore Tower at 10 on 10 but you just need to reach the respect 11 for do that. And if you are at this point it's probably worth do that. The final bid for Sauron of course start with 1 point on Gore Tower that increase the focus damage received by the target eaten by this control by 15% for 2 rounds. That is a solid increase of damage dealt in particular if you run Evil Faction with Saruman with Cesaro it's very strong. And then you want to place all your remaining point on Lord of the Gift for increase the damage of course can be a little useful but not a lot but in particular for a lock the level 5 trait and dev plus 5 of focus. Above respect 11 you have minimal increase of power for Sauron so it's not recommended do that if you are not an ultra kraken. Now talking about the gear of Sauron is one of the most debating point right now because depending of what role you want to give to your Sauron. In this guide I'm gonna suggest you all the best gear you can dress on your Sauron considering all the stats. Talking about the weapon the best in slot is the Noldor Sword which provides 220 of command, 36 of focus and 18 of unity defense that's all the statistic you need for your Sauron. As alternative if you didn't have that you can think to run Reckoning which provides 240 of command and 45 of unit defense, a tankier option but less effectiveness in terms of debuffing and if you're running that at epic level you want to run the Catalyst with 130 of command and also 15 of unit defense. As for the chest you want to run the High Elf Auberg which provides 48 of unit defense that make you extremely resistant. As alternative you can think to run the during split a weaker version of the high health hauberk which provides 36 of unit defense and if you have to run an epic armor i suggest you the superior hauberk which provides 18 of unit defense all the armor in this list are not necessary to refine because hp in 99% of the case are useless for the helmet i suggest you to run the call of the forest which provide 100 and command 15 of unit defense and also 6 of initiative the cowlix essential for sauron in particular if you 
you are matched versus another Sauron. As alternative, you can think to run the Cask of the Submatched Eyes, which provide 130 of command and 48 of unit defense. It's not solid like the Cowl, but it's still very tanky. And at epic level, what I suggest you is the Horseman Helmet, which provides 70 of command and also 18 of unit defense. Lastly, we talk about the accessory, and the best in slot for Sauron is the Meron Strayments, which provide 110 of command, 24 of unit defense, and also 6 of initiative. Again, very important for V faster than the enemy Sauron. As alternative, you can also run the Silver Up or Rivendell, which provide 120 of command and 42 of unit defense. And at epic level, what I suggest you is the Drums of Moria, which provide 70 of command and 18 of unit defense. Talking about the set effect, this is all the list of the set effect you want to use on your Sauron. The mainly you want on them are two and depending of what helm and accessory you run. So in case you run both helm and accessory best in slot, you want to run evasive action, which guarantees you 20% damage reduction in the first 3-4 round. In case you don't have helm and accessory with initiative, instead you want to run agility for increase the initiative of your Sauron and be in the right spot. As secondary bonus, you can also think to run fortitude and divide and conquest, which provide a good solid amount of damage reduction all around the battle. And lastly, as last option, you can think to run the tick armor, but just if you didn't have all the other bonus. Talking about the relic of Sauron, the smith gift provide you two good statistics out of four, only command and focus are good for them, while on a bonus level this item provide a buff to the enemy commander of plus six for the first two rounds on attack and focus, and they start to decrease them by six each round till the end of the battle. So it's not a great effect, it's almost useless. You can think to strength that if you're a kraken, of course, for have more statistics, and maybe you roll the right statistic, but what I suggest you is just unlock that and don't upgrade that because it's already enough, you got free statistic with 10 mithril. Talking about the troop, of course Sauron want tank troop, want sustain troop, but the kind of troop you want depends also in what role you wanna play them. So if you wanna play them as main tank, you can run the Swan Knight, a medium cavalry unit, enormously resistant and with a lot of HP and with the ability of protect two allied formation in the first three round, that excellent. As alternative, you can also think to run the mountain troll are cheaper than a Swan Knight, have a large amount of HP and also have a skill for damage reduction and a skill which provoke the enemy to inducing them to attack them. Instead, if you already have a tank on your formation and you want your Sauron as support tank, you can think to run the cave troll as large unit, is a tier 2 version of the mountain troll, it's cheaper in terms of cost, but at the same time have a solid amount of HP, very good defense and also damage reduction and don't have the provoke that allow them to don't be the first target in the first three round. Then you can think to run Marauder, a medium unit T2, also cavalry with excellent in terms of HP and defense value, but a lot less expensive in terms of cost compared to the T3 cavalry. And as last option, you can think about the Bone Knight only in the case you play with Gil Galad, because you want of course to be elf and you want to be medium unit, because the meta right now it's all about medium unit and large unit for counter the medium unit. These are the best unit in my opinion, there's other unit that can work of course, but are not very good like that. Talking about the commander that really shine with Sauron, I think about all the damage dealer in general have the 15% overall of damage dealt increase, it's very good for all the battles, so the sustained damage dealer are fantastic with Sauron, and in particular the focus damage dealer, cause if you are really wailed on Sauron, you can have the 15% more damage, focus damage when you eat the stun on a target. Instead, if we talk about the counter, the best counter for Sauron is strange to say, but is Sauron, because Sauron bases all the gameplay on the CC, and if you can be faster than the other Sauron, you can use the CC on Sauron versus themselves. So you're gonna have double stun and double madness for the enemy formation if you're faster and you hit with madness the enemy Sauron. This is why on the build you want to have initiative for be faster than the enemy Sauron. So my final conclusion is Sauron is the best CC commander in the game, the best debuffer and also work very good and die and low level of spending. That's the reason 
because I still think he's one of the best commander of the game, maybe not S+, plus, but he's for sure in the S tier. If you have any question about that, you can leave me a comment down below and ask me everything you want, and also join my Discord, you're gonna find the link in the description of the video. That's all for this guide, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you like it, just smash like on that and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Like always, I wanna remember you have an affiliated link with the game that's allow you to buy gems from the official side of the game, and if you choose to use my link, the devs gonna recognize me a little commission of what you spend and you're gonna support directly my channel. You're gonna find the link in the description of the video and also in the first comment. Again, thank you for following me and see you in the next one. Woo!